Okay, algebra of matrices and determinants part two. Um, we're, trying, we're asked to multiply in number seven, matrix B times matrix G. Matrix B is a two by three, and G is a two by three. They're the same size, but do the inner dimensions match? Three and two are not the same, so no, um, not possible. We cannot multiply these guys together. That won't work. Um, e times F. E is a three by one, F is a three by one, same size. We could add these together, we could subtract these together, but we cannot multiply these together because those are not the same number. Not possible, that's what we need to write. All right, B times D. B is a two by three, D is a three by three. Oh, these match, yes, this is possible. The resulting matrix will be a two by three. So let me write this down, B, is a one, five, six, negative two, one, four. D is four, one, negative one, six, five, zero, negative three, four, seven. And the resulting matrix is going to be a two by three. So let me plan for this. A two by three. So this is going to be B, D, row 1, column 1. B, D, row 2, 1. It's going to be a 2 by 3. Okay. B, D, 1, row 1, 2. B, D, 1, 3. B, D, 2, 2. B, D, row 2, column 3. Okay. That's the elements I'm going to put in here. Now, I'm not going to do it as slowly as I did it in the last video. I'm going to kind of just do it. And um, you can refer to the other one if you want to see, but I know this is what's going to happen. To get this first element, 1, 1, I'm going to be multiplying row 1 by column 1 to get this one. So that's going to be 1 times 4 plus 6 times 1, which is 10, plus negative 1. Um, 4 plus 6 is 10, minus 1 is a 9. Goes right there. Okay, this one, row 1 times column two, that's gonna be six plus 36, six plus 30, zero. This is gonna be 36. Ja, 36. Okay, row one, column three. Let's see what that one's gonna be. Negative three plus 24 is 21 plus seven. 21 plus seven is 28. I'm gonna double check this after I write this out. This one down here, now we're on row two, column one. Oops, row two, column one. So that's gonna be 20 minus two is 18, minus four is 14, goes right here. Row two, column two, what is this guy gonna be? He's gonna be 30 minus 10 is 20, plus zero is a 20. Row two, column three, what is he gonna be? Negative 15, Minus 8, uh-oh, negative 15, minus 8, plus 28. Negative 15, minus 8, plus 28. That's going to be 20. That's going to be 5. Okay. I'm going to double check my work real quick. Okay. 6, 36. Okay. Uh... Okay, 30, okay, negative 15, minus 8, plus 28. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. So that's multiplication of matrices. If you need to look at the last video and go slower to make sure um, to see how to plan it out, that is fine. That's good. Um, let's see. Lastly, determinants. A determinant is a really handy number that we use to calculate things, the determinant of a matrix. So that brings me to, I need to name a few of these matrices. Um, that some of these we can give a special name to. E and F we can give a name to. These are called column matrices. I think you probably can see that. There's only one element and it's just a column of numbers. These are called column um, matrices. You can have the other ones. Let me just make one up real quick. H, what if this was equal to? 7, 9, 2, 8, 11, what size would it be? It would be a 1 by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
um, rows, and this is called a row matrix. These are called column matrix. Okay. Now, not surprisingly there, this name is not going to surprise you. Math people are pretty boring and their names are pretty directly named. So, this is a very big surprise, but A is called a square matrix because it's got the same number of rows as columns. Um, D is called a square matrix because it's got the same number of rows as columns. Um, if you have a square matrix, you can find the determinant of a matrix, which is a handy special number that we use in calculations and things. So, um, that's the next thing we're going to address. Here is a formula for how to find the determinant. Let me make some more. The determinant of a 2 by 2. There's a nice little handy formula for finding the determinant of a 2 by 2. And so, um, as far as what you're going to have to do by hand, and show me that you can do by hand with matrices, let me just state this for the record. Um, you need to be able to add, subtract, multiply matrix by a scalar, multiply matrices together like we've just been doing, and take the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix by hand. Those things you need to be able to do by hand. Um, if you have to take the determinant of a 3x3, three three, you may use a calculator for that, but um, I'm going to show you how to do it by hand in case anybody's interested. Okay, so um, let us... So that's as far as the algebra of matrices goes. That's what you have to be able to do. So if you have to find the determinant of a matrix A, and this is the symbolism for determinant. Sometimes they'll write it like this, DET of A, or they put it kind of in absolute value bars. It doesn't mean absolute value. It means the determinant of the matrix. And so what this is, means is the number. So if I have to find the determinant of matrix A, and A is defined to be... A, B, C, D, okay. Um, I think I meant to mention this, but if I didn't, a matrix is known because it's got these brackets. They put brackets, and that means it's a matrix coming at you. So, I should have told you that. So, anyway, the determinant of a two by two matrix is going to be the element in this position times the element in this position, A times D, minus the element in this position times the element of this position, B times C. So let me just make up one. Let's just say A is equal to 7, 5, 2, 9. The determinant of matrix A would be 7 times 9, 63, minus 5 times 2, 10. It would be 53. That's the determinant of matrix A. It's just like that. So. What they asked us to do on the sheet is to find the determinant of matrix A on our sheet. So, this matrix A. So, let's find the determinant of A, and we can use this formula right here. here. So, let me erase the second A that I put there so that's not confusing. The determinant of matrix A, sometimes they might just put that, and you got to know that means find the determinant. And so, it means that would be 2 times 0. 2 times 0 minus negative 3 times 1. 2 times 0 is a 0 minus negative 3. 0 plus 3. The determinant of matrix A is the number 3. That was number 10. All right. Here is number 11. Number 11 said find the determinant of C. And so instead of writing it in absolute value marks, they said find the determinant of C, but we know they could have also said this. So let's go up here to C, and I'm looking at it, and that is not a square matrix, so I have to say not possible. So write down not possible. Okay, fine, that one took care of there. 12, find the determinant of D. And D is a three by three matrix. Oh, so I can. So I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can find the determinant by um, hand for a three by three because it's just kind of interesting and some of you guys are going to want to know. Um, I will let you use your calculator. Sometimes you want to check it too. So sometimes it's easier to do by hand than typing it in the calculator. So I'm just going to show you how to do it for a three by three. I'm going to do it two ways. Here's one way. This is only for a three by three. You can do the what I'm about to show you. Okay, if you have to find the determinant of a 3 by 3, you write the matrix down, and then you copy down the first two columns again 
4, 1, negative 1, 6, 5, 0. And then you do this, and the order that you do it, it matters. You take 4 times 5 times 7. You multiply the numbers on the diagonal. Then you, this is the next diagonal, 6, 4, 1, and then 3, 1, 0. Okay, first you do this, you say 4 times 5 times 7. 4 times 5 times 7 plus 6 times 4 times negative 1. 6 times 4 times negative 1 plus negative 3 times 1 times 0. Negative 3 times 1 times 0. And then you subtract the diagonals going the other direction. So let me, let me do the other direction. The other direction is going to be 6 times 1 times 7, 4 times 4 times 0, negative 3 times 5 times negative 1. So that's going to be minus 6 times 1 times 7 plus 4 times 4 times 0 plus negative 3 times 5 times negative 1. And this minus this is going to give us a number, which is the determinant of that 3 by 3 matrix. So... Let's just do this. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 7 is 140. Plus 6 times 4 is 24 times a negative 1 is a negative 24. Negative 3 times 1 times 0 is a 0. All right. Minus 6 times 1 times 7 is a 42. This is a 0. And this is a negative times a negative, which is a positive. 3 times 5 is 15. All right. So let's see. 140 minus 24 is going to be 116. Is that right? If I add 20. Yep, 116. Minus 42 plus 15 is a 57. So 116 minus 57, 16, 10 is a 9, 59, 59. That's the determinant of this three by three matrix. Okay, I'm gonna do it um, the way that you would do it for any matrix th sizes three, four, five, or bigger square matrices. So this is another way you can do it. And so if you look up on other websites or if you read about in books, this is something called minors and cofactors I'm about to use. I'm going to hang on to the answer I just got, 59, and this will be a check for me to see if I made a mistake um, if, I got the same, if I get the same determinant. So, this is the way you can find um, the determinant of, of bigger size matrices that are square. So, let me just do D, so I'll double check my work. D is this, so I've got 4, 1, negative 1, 6, 5, 0, negative 3, 4, 7. Okay, so this is how with the traditional cofactors um, that you do with this. Um, pick, select any row or any column in this matrix and stick with it. Now, it's good if you can find one with a zero in it because it's less work. So I'm going to try to do less work. So I'm selecting, I'm going to select the, the third row. This is my choice. Once I choose that, I start with the third row and I take this number, negative one, whatever this element is. So I take the element, okay. And then it's a little tricky because it says negative one, but that's because of this negative one. And then I take negative one, negative one, and I raise it to the power of I plus J. I'm about to tell you what that means. And then I plus J is the call numbers on this element. So this is in row three, column one, right? So this is three plus one, three plus one. Negative one was in position row three, column one. Then I multiply it times the determinant of, if I mark these guys out, this is what would be left, times the determinant of six, five, negative three, four, and this is a little two by two, which is easy to find. Then I add it to 
I go down to, I pick the third row, I go to the next element, which is zero. I say zero times negative one to the i plus j or the position of the zero element, which is row three, column two. Three plus two times the determinant of if I marked out the row and the column with the zero in it, what am I left with? Four, one, four, one, negative three, four. The determinant of those numbers. Plus, I go to the last element, seven, times negative one raised to the i plus, plus j. Well, seven is in row three, column three, three plus three. Oops, the negative one is being raised to the three plus three. And then I mark out the, the row and the column that seven's in, leaving me with four, one, six, five. And I multiply it times the determinant of that. Okay, so what I have here is negative one. Negative one raised to the three plus one is four. Negative one raised to the four is just a one. And the determinant of a two by two is easy to find. It's gonna be six times four, 24, minus negative 15. All right, plus zero, negative one to the five is negative one times the determinant of this. But anything that's got a zero multiplying that, this is a big zero, so I don't really don't have to work on that one. Plus, that's why you wanna pick a row that's got a zero in it if you can find it. Seven, negative one to the three plus three is negative one to the sixth, and that's gonna be a positive one times a one, times this determinant. Four times five is 20, minus six times one. All right, so let, let's see what we get here. I, get a, I have a, a negative one, times one is a negative one, times 24 plus 15. 24 plus 15 is nine, uh, 39, 39 plus a zero, plus a seven times 20 minus six is 14. All right, this is negative 39 plus zero plus 14 times seven, 98, is that right? Eight, 28, seven, 98, 98. All right, what is 98 minus 39? 18, eight. 18 minus nine is nine. Eight minus three is 59. Oh, it's 59. So that is, a, that is the traditional way of finding determinants for like sizes. Three by three, four by four, five by five. If you have a three by three, you can kind of copy down the uh, second two rows and that's a little bitty, uh, kind of a trick you can do. Um, something that just works nicely to, to be able to find the determinant. Again, what do you have to do by hand? Um, find the determinant of a two by two matrix. Um, add, subtract, multiply matrices um, so far. Um, when we get into the next videos, there are some certain things you'll have to do by hand that I'll talk about in those. Okay.